Acadiana's Best Country, 97.3 The Dog. That is Granger Smith, and that is called Back Road Song. It is uh, 719, and Jude, we have a guest in, in our nest this morning. Yeah, Kevin Owens, WWE superstar in the house. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Uh, wait, Bruce, he's, he's from Quebec. We should speak a little French to him. Okay. <clears throat> um, and go. Can we do say? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Comment ça va? Peut-être vous allez à la piscine. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Cold for the piscine. No. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what's the thing with the French fries and the gravy? Don't y'all do that? Isn't that a Canadian thing? Yeah. yeah, that's a. Yeah. Is it? You had that already today? Uh, not today, but. Uh, we got to get him some boudin instead. My life, I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Big fan. So, uh, uh, traveling on on the road with the WWE, do you get any great fine Canadian food? No, not really. It's not, it's not in the rider, is it? Yeah, I can't say that happens too often, but uh, that's all right. I I manage, you know. Yeah, somehow I, I figured you'd, you'd work your way around it just <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Y'all got a big show tonight that uh, folks yes. in Acadiana are very excited to come and see. Yeah, the Cajun Dome, uh, it's going to be a good time. I'm in the main event, so that always uh, means a good show for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, WWE always puts a show like no other, so uh, it's going to be no different tonight. All right, who, who are you up against? I am uh, teaming with Sheamus against uh, Neville and Dean Ambrose, who have uh, been... Uh, Broiled with a, uh, over uh, the feud over the Intercontinental title, uh, so it's getting pretty intense. So we, we don't like that Dean Ambrose guy. Just, I just saying, I certainly don't like him <laughs> too much. But uh, yeah, so people are in for a good show tonight. Well, you know, from what I understand, you you are you are having issues also with with Undertaker. Is that is that correct? I wouldn't say I have issues with Undertaker, but WrestleMania is right around the corner, right? And uh, you know, WrestleMania is uh, very much synonymous with the Undertaker. He, uh, you know, he he. He made a name for himself, uh, you know, throughout the, his career at WWE by uh, winning at WrestleMania more than anybody else uh -huh. ever did. And, uh, you know, I feel like for my first WrestleMania, I'd love to be in the ring with him. So I've been uh, throwing his name around as a, you know, opponent I'd like to face at WrestleMania. So I don't know if I have a personal issue with him, but I'd definitely love to get in the ring with he, him. He looks like somebody who smells. I wouldn't say that. I don't know. I, he looks like somebody who could probably beat you up for saying that, though. Okay. But, yeah. He's not listening, is he? Is he here? He, he might. Who knows? He's the Undertaker, you know? He's right. the dead man. He Maybe he's here right now. We don't know. He's got some pretty mythical powers throughout the years at WWE. You know? So what you're saying is, like, WWE employs ghosts? Well, they very well could. <laughs> wow. If you watch Raw, you could see people show up left and right. That's the kind yeah, of thing that you exactly. need to come and see tonight in there the Cajun Dome because you never know, you never know when spirits up. of paranormal beginnings are going exactly. to appear in the ring. All right, Absolutely. Uh, Ke Kevin Owens, our guest. Kevin, what's the, the, the funniest sign you've ever seen? You know, I'm a little busy when I'm in the ring, so I don't really take the time to look at signs. But, uh, uh, I mean, uh, you know, every... Uh, Every week at the, you know, the television shows like Raw or SmackDown, with like the SmackDown that's going to happen tonight at the Cajun Dome. Uh, during breaks, they do, you know, the sign of the night, and they there's some pretty good ones there. So if people bring a sign tonight, there's a chance they can get on the Titan Tron and you know get themselves seen. Well, I mean, if you were wrestling an Undertaker, you'd have time to look because I mean, you know, it, you, you wouldn't be that busy. He's pretty easy, huh? Actually, I think I probably have my hands full. <laughs> it's the last okay. thing I do is look for signs. Well, I mean, he's like a. A spirit in the paranormal world. Can't you just coat yourself in garlic or something? Yeah, I think that's vampires, but yeah. Right. <clears throat> well, what is this guy? Is he, he's like a, 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 I mean, he's not a vampire. He's not a ghost. No, he's actually a legend in WWE. I know, he's I know been, he is, uh, you actually. know, he's been there for so long and he's probably, uh, you know, you go down the street and you ask somebody, uh, you know, who the Undertaker is, most likely they know exactly Absolutely. Who he is, so, you know. Well, you know, you're the first WWE guy that's been in the studio in a while that actually looks like a wrestler. All right. Every, everybody else comes in here and they look like, you know, you would just spend all your time modeling in the gym and stuff. You look like Did you guys have the Miz here recently or something? <laughs> I mean, it, you it sounds like you, you you I mean, you look like, you know, you look like you work for a living, you Thank know? You. you look like yeah. the kind of guy that they put puts puts on his his clothes and he goes to work and puts in an honest day's work and then then at the end of the night sits down and maybe uh, maybe watches WWE on TV. That's exactly what I did for a very long time until I actually got signed to wrestle for WWE. So yeah, you're pretty dead on there. Yeah, I mean, it, doesn't he look like he looks? Yeah. Like, he looks like one of us. He look well. I mean, much more <laughs> chiseled, and oh, athletic, was... and <laughs> capable of actually maybe working for more than three minutes. All right. Like, well, uh, tonight uh, doors open at five thirty. Showtime at seven o'clock at the Cajun Dome. I hear right. there's some good seats, so uh, go get them at the Cajun Dome box office. All right, any any predictions or any any riots you want to incite tonight? You want to make anybody mad or angry? or? Uh, I'm pretty good at that when I'm in the ring, actually, so I'll save that for that. People should show up at the Cajun Dome and see what I do best because making people angry is kind of 
part of uh, my job. But uh, as far as predictions go, I'm you know I'm in the main event, like I said, and uh, I'm definitely gonna walk out the winner. And, well, you know, if people wanna. Try to prove me wrong. They can come to the Cage and Dome and see what happens. All right. Tonight at the Cage and Dome, the doors will be opening at uh, 530. Yep. 530. Make sure you are there. We will be there with 97.3. The Dog.